Hey guys, just working on uh, Daisy birthday stuff, and I thought I would show you guys uh, the banner that I'm going to be making and how I how I'm doing it and where I found the idea and all that good stuff. So I'm just doing a simple happy birthday banner, and um, I chose to find a printout font, and this is um, oh God, I can't remember what the font name is. Um, but I just, I just Googled like pin in, in, uh, Google images circus and <laughs> I think it was like circus printouts or something like that. And I came across this font already in the size that I needed it for, for the banner. And, um, they just had every letter and you just print it out each letter. So this is how it came printed out. And then I just cut it out, cut them all out and, um, and then I took some coffee filters and a little bit of uh, yellow, the yellow polka dot cardstock that I'm doing the um, cupcake flags in. And then I took a separate piece of cardstock in an interesting pattern. I inked the edges of all of that stuff, except the coffee filters, of course, and the letters. And then it's going to be like that. I only have the one done, and I'm going to use these colors, cardstock, so we'll see. I don't know. I might need more cardstock. <laughs> I I wasn't anticipating doing it with cardstock. I was going to do it with fabric, but um, I don't really have the time to cut and sew all of those little, um, like this back part fabric. I don't have time to do that. So I'm just going through my own scrapbook paper, like the stuff I already own, and just finding paper I'm willing to part with and do this. And then, of course, I mean, I can take apart the banner afterwards and, you know, reclaim the scrapbook paper, but we'll see. So that is the project that I'm currently working on. And then I'm going to show you guys really quick the other stuff that I found to print out. Um, so this right here is, like, I don't know if you can see. It's... um. It's like a vintage circus theme and it's really really nicely illustrated and there's two sheets and I printed out several sheets of each uh, and I'm going to cut out the animals and um, and paste them onto lunch sacks and then put the kids' names on them. That way they can just take that home with them. And it will have their, you know, little prize from the party in it. So yeah, that's the way I'm going to do it. And I haven't decided. Um, I might do it for adults as well. Because I had this idea to um, take a photo of Daisy with, like, Instagram. And, um, and then print it out onto sticker paper. And cut it out, like, put the sticker paper on sheets of, like, refrigerator magnet and then just cut it out and then I could have something for like the adults to take home too. I don't know. We'll see but that's what I'm doing with those. And then this is actually, <laughs> I'm only giving out one physical invite. Everybody else is adults and so they're all on my Facebook so I just did a Facebook invite but this is the invite that I found for free. All of these were free um, on the internet and I'm just going to cut it out back it with some like thick red cardstock and um yeah I'll pr probably just give out the one and keep the other for like her scrapbook but yeah I found that and then this is an elephant <laughs> it's hard to see it but it is an elephant and it's one that you cut out and um and then you like glue all of the pieces together and it makes like a 3D elephant. So this is going to go on top of her cake. So this is just a practice one. I'll probably print the real one out on like thick paper. But I just wanted to print it out once as a practice. So that I could get a hang for folding it beforehand. And then I can show you guys what didn't work. <laughs> I printed out this. This is like a 3D vintage like circus carousel and it actually looks really cool when it's all put together but um, my paper wasn't long enough and it cut off the top like two centimeters 
of each page. So um, I need to figure that out. But that's hopefully will go on the table with like all the food and stuff as just a little table topper. So yeah, that is what I'm doing for the banner. All right, now I have everything cut out. Um, all I have to do is ink the edges of the letters. Um, what I did when I cut out, I didn't want to lose any of the shape of the letters, so I cut just slightly outside of it, so there's a little white area around the whole letter. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some black uh, scrapbook ink and just ink the edges so that you can't see the white when it's against the color. Um, and then I'm going to glue everything down and I've already inked the edges of my paper so my circles are inked and I, I did a sloppy ink job on purpose um, but my circles are inked and you can't see it in this one as well but yeah the edges are are inked so that is what I'm going to do and when I do that it's going to look like this so this one's already inked and if you can tell, you can't really see any of the black or the white around the edge, so it just looks clean. And um, it's stuck on so that that part flies free. Um, it gives a little depth. There's going to be a tiny shadow behind it. And yeah, when I do them all, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, it will say happy birthday. And I will, uh, I'll show you guys when I have that all done and I attach it to the twine. All right, guys, I'm finished. And here is my sign. Happy birthday. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of hard to, like, show you guys. Maybe if I stand up. Don't just, like, ugh. All right. Let's see. You guys can see. That is my sign. And it only took two nap times to do. 